Hi, hi, I'm Paula Kinney from Moms Who Win and I'm going to tell you five things that you should never say to the parent or mom of a special needs child. These are not in order of importance and they're just things that people have said to me over the years. I even asked a couple moms for suggestions. This is kind of the consensus of what we came up with. The first, the first thing, again, not in order of importance, is, oh, I'm so sorry. So we're not looking for your sympathy. It's not a death. And we're gonna need you to keep the energy up and be positive. So oh, I'm so sorry, it's not positive. So please don't say that. The number two is, um, so for example, my daughter has autism. So when I would tell people she has autism, they would be like, oh my gosh, like the doctor on that on that one show, they had, but back in the, she's a little older, so people would often say Rain Man, it's an old movie about a guy who had autism. And no, not like that. Every child is different. We don't want our children to be compared to other children. Just say, oh, I don't know much about it. I did, I do have seen that show with the doctor on there who has autism, but I know everyone's different. Just say that. Don't say like, oh, you have it all together. You saw one person with autism and now you, the synopsis is the doctor that's on that show. Don't say that. Nobody wants their children to be compared to. If you have whatever kind of child you have, a fourth grader, fifth grader, twins, black child, white child, you don't want somebody to come, oh yeah, I know a, a set of twins and aren't they? Nobody wants their children to be compared to. So don't say that. Um, number three is, oh, I don't know how you do it. I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to handle that. I just don't know how you do it. You, we didn't go to school for this. We didn't get some special training. This was the hand we were dealt and we handle it. Just like you would, you take care of your children that you have now, regardless to whatever. It's the same thing. We're not some superhuman human beings. We're just mothers who love our children, who want the best. We do what we have to do. It's not, we're not so special. You could do it too, so cut it out. Don't, don't say what you can't do, because we all know when circumstances hit our life, we do what we have to do. We don't want to hear that. Oh my gosh, I don't know how you, I, can, I would never be able to handle that. Stop, don't say that. Um, number four, uh, people saying things like, you know, God would put more on you than you can bear, or you know, God gives special children to special moms. First of all, where is that in the Bible? Secondly, when did you talk to God and he told you that? No, stop it. Stop trying to tell us what you think God's reason is for this and what we can bear and what we can't. Because if it's a certain kind of day, you may not want to hear the response. So stop saying what God did, what he's doing, and how special we are because we are we have a child with special needs. Cut it out. Lastly, <laughs> I got this one from my cousin. She said, don't touch the child like they're a pet or something. Like, you know, some children are nonverbal. Some children may be in a wheelchair. Some children may, you know, all types of scenarios. They're right there and they can see you. They can hear you. And you start, you know, rubbing their hair or touching them. You, and you're, you know, like it's, stop it. First of all, you wouldn't do that to anyone else's child. So they're, just because this child can't speak up or swat your hand away, <laughs> wouldn't that be funny? Swat your hand away. Don't do that. They're not, it's not a pet. It's not, it's like, stop, don't do that. So I just told you what not to do. I will tell you what I think is more appropriate to do. Just say, I don't really know that much about that. Um, you know, maybe you have a cousin that has it or a friend of a friend. Just say, I really don't know that much about it. Are you? Can you tell me a little more about your child and that particular diagnosis? If, you know, if you have the time. If not, you just say, I don't know that much about it. Um, I would love to learn more. If you really would, is there a way I can go learn more, read more about it? And a mom 
or dad would be glad to tell you. Um, the other thing you could say is, um, um, do, 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 do. oh, I know. What would be, what's a great way for me to support you? So if it's someone and you're, maybe you're close or you're getting to know them and, you know, you might say, oh, okay, I don't know that much about that, but I'd love to support you in any way that I could. So if there's something I can do for you, just let me know. Lastly, I would say, again, I don't know that much about it. What would be the best way to interact with your child? Some children don't like a lot of loud noises, you know, lights, loud, whatever it is. Every child is different. So it would be appropriate to ask the mom, how could, you know, how should I interact? Should I speak? So like my daughter, for example, she prefers if you don't say anything to her, then she'll go. But if you're all in her face, she doesn't like that. So it's just, it's just best to ask. Each child is different. So, you know, you just kind of want to um, approach each child specifically for their particular needs. So that's my two cents of Paula Kenny from Moms Who Win. Please take that advice. Please share it with others so that people know. I know every most people have a good heart and they mean well, but some things that you say can be very offensive and I don't want you to be offensive. So that's my two cents. Have a great day. Thank you.